Back up. You only listen to Tip Rapper. Back up. You only listen to Tip Rapper. Back up. Y'all let up. Back up. No, back up. This ain't the Christian church, bro. You understand that? This ain't the Christian church. You better back up. They ain't got to be like that. Don't ever go to me like that. You better back up. This ain't the Christian church. You ain't got to be like that. This ain't the Christian church. If you're going to see me, you don't know enough. You better prove it. That's why you walking away. You don't know enough. Progress 28 and 1. You don't know enough. 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 You know your nationality according to the Bible? According to which Bible? Uh, uh, come around for me, come around for me. According to which Bible? According to the King James Bible. I don't follow that. Y'all follow the King James Bible? I mean, I, I, mean, I, I, I read and use that as a reference, but um, the, the white man wrote this Bible, all right? All right, so what proof do you have that the white man wrote this Bible? By, by the name itself. By the name itself? Yeah. The author again said so the, the, the person that wrote the book is named on it. Say King James. That's down. King James was black. What? King James was black. That's right. Okay. So do you, so you say you don't believe in the Bible? I do believe in the Bible. You do you do believe in the Bible, but what Bible do you believe in? I believe in the truth. The truth. What's the truth? And my, my spirit, my spirit differentiates what the truth and what's not when I read it. Just that I can tell what I can tell, I can tell what's been tampered by, tampered with by man, and what hasn't been tampered with by man. You know, saying by the truth, by the two words. I don't just use just one, one source of information. You know, what I'm saying for, for my knowledge. You know, what I'm saying and then the spirit tells me what's wrong, good or bad. Okay, so. Let's see what's right and what's wrong. Let's go over some things. Go to Leviticus. Oh, wait, wait. What, what you got? All right, give me that. Give me that first. Then we're going to go in Leviticus. The book of 2 Timothy, uh -huh. chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. So all scripture is given by inspiration of God. You all, agree? All, all, is, all, is, all is a big word, right? Do you agree? It depends on what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Are you talking about all scripture from... Uh, from King James Version. It says all scripture. We'll finish it up. All, all scripture, period. I mean, more than one scripture. Right? All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Uh -huh. And it's profitable for doctrine, uh -huh. for reproof. So it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, meaning for correction. Read. Yeah. For correction. Uh -huh. For instruction in righteousness. So instruction in righteousness. So how do you then become righteous? How do you become righteous? Because what you're saying is that you look at the Bible, then you pick and choose which is tampered by man. So let's see if this is tampered no, 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 by... No, no, no. I didn't... No, no, no. I said, I said the Spirit. It's like when you read... If you go further, if you go back and read what you just said before. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it didn't say by me. I didn't say by me. I said the Spirit. I said the Spirit of God lets me know... So what's what, been, what is the been, spirit? What's been what's been what's been, what's been tampered with? What what is the spirit? Go go to Isaiah forty one and twenty. And you want to teach it? You gonna ask me a series of questions? Bruh, I'm trying to understand where you're at so I can teach. What what, what, what tell me where you from? Tell me where you at. Read this. Isaiah tell chapter forty one verse twenty one. The book of Isaiah chapter forty one and verse twenty one. Uh -huh. Produce your cause, uh -huh. saith the Lord. So the Bible says to produce your cause. Read. Bring forth your strong reasons, uh -huh. saith the king of Jacob. So you have to bring forth your strong reasons, all right? So you just brought out a whole bunch of your opinions. No, you now, ain't. No, 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 oh, no, no, hold no, on. No, We're no, going to go to a part in the Give me Deuteronomy okay, I mean, chapter 28, mic, verse 68. You got to go out and talk to me. You know what uh, Are we going to have a conversation? Uh, we are going to have a conversation. I'll let you talk for a while. Now, I'm about to bring up some scriptures, and I want you to tell me, was this tampered with, or is this true? All right? Read verse 68. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, uh -huh. chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So this is Moses talking to the children of Israel, right? Back in the, after he delivered them from the Egyptians. It said the Lord is going to bring you back who, into who Egypt. Who delivered who? Who delivered who? Moses, Moses delivered, delivered the children of Israel Moses, out of Moses, Egypt by the, by, by, the, by the power of the Most High God. There you go. Okay. There you go. All right. Now, now read it again now from the with, top. Now and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Moses is now telling him, telling the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you're going to go back into Egypt. Egypt has a meaning behind it. Give me that Exodus 20. Bring it out. Give me that Exodus 22. 
Want me to take it before you read? Uh -huh. But yeah. you know what? What is it? Where you going? Where you, you going? Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. Read that. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Did you did you get that? The house of bondage. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, Egypt yeah, means. Yeah, go yeah, back to yeah, yeah. let's go back to Deuteronomy. But once again, we thought we, we said the, oh, Lord oh. the God, the Lord thy God did that. Oh. Not Moses. Hold on. Not Moses. Verse 68, oh God. and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt meaning bondage. So the Lord is going to send the children of Israel back into bondage. How? Again with ships. Now, how did the African Americans get to the side of the world? You laughing. How did the African Americans get to the side of the world? Which one? The African Americans. Man, it was already, already African that did that before Christopher Columbus, before the trans, look, before, look before this, the trans, look at these right here. Brother, before the trans related slave trade, there were already what your so called African Americans already here on this soil. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, so what you're saying, when you ask me about, yes, I, I get what you're saying, that yeah, we've been brought by ships. So, so, so we were implying, brought by ships. What you're, what you're implying, what you're implying is the trans Atlantic slave trade. You know what I'm saying? Because because Egypt means slavery, you know what I'm saying, means bondage. Uh-huh. And with stating by what you just said uh -huh. and what you just read. You know what I'm saying? And then God said that I'm gonna bring you back into bondage. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But you never left. Israel. You're right. The Lord, Lord scattered us on around the four corners of the earth. You're right. It's not just the transatlantic right. slave trade. Right. But what I'm bringing to you is it came by the most high God. And now you're saying I'm oh. right. So my question is, it was that tampered with? Yeah. Hey, give me, all right, give yeah. me. You know how it was happening with? How it was happening with? All right, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real brief. Uh huh. All right. I already know, I already, I already know, I already know where you're going. You know what I'm saying? And, and my question, my question to you now is, if you're telling you because my man asked me a brief, he asked me a question of where do I come from? Do I know where I come from? You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? And and I already know that I already know where you where you coming from is that. The white man is the devil, and the white man is this, and the white man. Oh, so that's what you hung up on? No, 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 no. I'm not hung up on anything. I'm not hung up on anything. Let's get that clear. I'm uh -huh. hung up on anything. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, is, is if the white man is this, that, and the other, then why are you reading his published words? You know what I'm saying? Why hasn't? Why hasn't? Right, so is why Jesus, hasn't, is why Jesus hasn't, Christ no, 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 a black no, no, no. man or a white man? I don't. I don't get this. I don't get to finish my question. You know what I'm saying? Well, hurry, 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 no, 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 no. I didn't come out here to listen to you. I came out here to teach. I'm not out here to argue. Are you trying to who you who you teaching to? I'm the only person here. Yeah. So are you gonna teach me? I'm asking you questions. Are you gonna teach the street signs? I'm asking the question. Do I get to ask the question? Go ahead. I don't get to ask the question. Go ahead. Because I was in the middle of asking the question. Right? Ain't that how a conversation works? So, so if, if that is the case, to where we're saying that the white man is this, that, and the other, then why are you using his published words to spread your message? You know what I'm saying? Because if that's the case, and then, and, and if, I'm who I, if I'm who you're saying I am as far as the black Hebrew Israelite, you know what I'm saying? Then why has a God brought down the word for the black Hebrew Israelite to, you know what I'm saying, to, to not have to use this tampered word by the white man that is the devil because that's who published this book. That's my question. Okay, Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Let's see why we have to go you still, through the But you still use this as a reference. You're still using, you're still using this book as a reference that is, that is published by the so-called white man that you want to say that ain't nothing. I like your word choice. Your word choice is sending radars because guess what? Publish, publish, publish. You say the white man published it, right? That's what I'm you just said, right? I'm talking about, I'm talking about say, Let me about ask you, this, yes, did you just say that the white man published yes, the Bible? By this, All by right, this, so yes. let's deal with what you said. Yes. Is that okay? That's fine. Let's, let's deal with it. Yeah, answer my questions though, answer my questions. I am, bro, calm down. I'm calm, you, are you calm? If I just said let's deal with it, why are you still talking? Why are you calm so down. Right? Psalm 68 and 11. I'll get off the mic. Yeah, there you go. I'll get off the mic. There you Calm go. down, brother. There you go. I'm Psalm 16 and 11. Calm, so when I speak, when it's my turn, you don't. Okay, when so you same speak, thing. 
I won't. That's how grown men speak. But that's not how you came Psalm in. Psalm 68 and 11. That's not how you came brother, in, brother. Brother, calm down. This is the Bible. That's not how you came Psalm in. Psalm 3, what you got? The book of Psalms. Calm down, Chapter bro. 68 and verse 11. So you said the white man published the Bible. Let's find out who published the Bible. Read what you got. The Lord gave the word. Read. The Lord gave the word. Come on. Great was the company of those that published it. Great was what? Great was the company of those that published it. It says great was the company of those men who published the Bible. So who published the Bible? Amos 2 and 11. Who published the Bible? You ever heard of Moses? You ever heard of Job? You ever heard of these men? They're the ones who published the Bible. Read what you got. And guess what they were? They were Israelites. Read what you got. The That's book right. of Amos. Chapter 2 and verse 11. Come on. And I raised up of your sons for prophet. For what? For prophet. Read. And of your young men for Nazareth. Come on. It is not even thus. O ye children of Israel. Children of who? O ye children Israel. of Israel. Now let's find out what color these Israelites were. Job chapter 30 verse 30. Job chapter 30 verse 30. Because he said that the white man published the Bible. But we just read in God's holy word that the prophets published the Bible. Read what you got. The book of Job chapter 30 and verse 30. What book are we reading? The Holy Bible. And this is what he said. The prophets were. This is their skin color. Read. My skin is black. The prophet Job said what? My skin is black. The prophet Job said what? My skin is black. Let's find out what color Moses was. Bring it up. He says that the white man published the Bible. Give me Exodus 4 and 6. Bring it up. Bring it up. Give me Exodus 4 and 6. Read what you got. You think because you, you have yet you to think prove read? anything. You think, you think read what you got. You think you're you think you're read what you got. The Are you reading from that version? So, the four and and verse six. so guess what? He says the white man wrote the Bible. Show me that the Israelites were Are white. You reading Show me that the Israelites were white. Who wrote Moses Show me version? that the Israelites are white. Who wrote, who wrote Moses version? Show me that the Israelites are white. Who wrote Moses version? Show me that the Israelites are white. I just told you. I, I Show didn't, it. I didn't say the Israelites Prove it. white. Prove it. I didn't, that's not who what wrote I the said. Bible? That's not what who I said. Who wrote the Bible? That's, you're twisting my word. Who brother. wrote the Bible? You're twisting my word. Who wrote it? That's not, I, that's not who what I wrote it? You. That's not what I said. Who wrote the Bible? Who Read. It? The book of Exodus, chapter 5 Crickets, and verse 6. Crickets, because you can't prove nothing. Read what you got. What are you, what are you proving, the Lord dude? said for what the word proving? unto him, Read. put now proving? thine hand into thy bosom. So this is the prophet Moses. God said to Moses, put your hand in your bosom. Come on. And he put right. his hand into his bosom. Read. And, then put your and when out. he took it out, uh -huh. behold, his hand was leprous as snow. God said his hand turned leprous as snow. Yeah. Read what you got. And he said, put thine hand into thy bosom again. Read. And he put his hand into his bosom Come again. Come on. And he plucked it out of his bosom. Read. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. Turned again as his what? As his right. other flesh. Proving what? A miracle happened. A black man turn leprous as snow, and then God changed his skin color back to his original flesh. That's right. Showing that Moses, what, was a black man. That's right. Songs of Solomon 1 and 5. Hey man, I, I don't Songs of Solomon 1 and 5. Yes, you do, because you don't that. agree. You I'm just said that the that. white man wrote the Bible. I'm you not, just said it. That's not what I said. What'd you say? I said the white man published the Bible. Psalm that 68 version 11. of the Bible that you're reading, bro. Psalm 68 and 11. The, time, the, the version that you're reading. You trying to tell me that's Moses' version? Hold hey, up. I gotta walk away from you. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.